grace and peace, love and mercy from God our Father, through Jesus Christ, our risen Savior and Lord. Amen. Thank you for tuning in once again to our video daily devotions. My name is Pastor Poppy, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, Lincoln, Nebraska. My friends, this past Sunday, we began a new church year, the season of Advent. All throughout our Advent season, not only will we have our Wednesday evening worship services at 6.30 p.m., but we'll have fellowship meals, an opportunity to come together as the body of Christ every Wednesday evening, serving from 5 to 6.15. You are invited. Also, during our Wednesday Advent services, we will be focusing on the first 18 verses of John chapter 1. You know, the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. Each one of our Wednesdays will look at a portion of those 18 verses in John chapter 1 and bring it to culmination on Christmas Day, which also happens to be on a Sunday. We look forward to seeing you. Now, our devotion from our Old Testament reading Jeremiah chapter 23. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives who brought up the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives who brought up and led the offspring of the house of Israel out of the north country and out of all the countries where he had driven them, then they shall dwell in their own land. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The days are coming, declares the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord. Sometimes in the church, we think that maybe God, through his prophets, are crying, Wolf, when will these days come? When will we be delivered from evil? from sin, death, and all the trappings and consequences of sin that, that bog us down each and every day. My friends, the days are coming, as Jeremiah prophesied, have been fulfilled. They have been fulfilled in the person and work of Jesus Christ. God in the flesh made manifest for you and me the eternal word taking up residence inside the womb of the Virgin Mary, Jesus, the very Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, born into this world of sin to conquer sin, death, and the devil for us. It's a done deal. Jesus cries out, it is finished. Everything necessary for your salvation has been accomplished by the perfect life, obedient death, and glorious resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus. My friends, the days are coming has been fulfilled in Jesus. The days are coming when Christ will come again. And so we prepare our hearts and our lives each and every day. And the best way to prepare is through repentance. We know our sin. It's always before us. God calls us to return to the baptismal font each and every day. And there, drowned and die with all of our sins and evil passions and lusts. And daily rise forth a new person, a new creation, ready to love God and to serve our neighbor. My friends, the life of a Christian is a life of certainty. Because Christ has bled and died and our sins are forgiven. The life of a Christian is one of anticipation because we don't know when God will call us home. 
or if Jesus will return before he calls us home. And so we live our lives joyfully waiting and expecting Jesus. My friends, blessed Advent, blessed repentance, blessed waiting in Jesus. Amen.